game for Everton. That's because Everton have been struck down by injuries. No Kevin Ratcliffe, no Kevin Sheedy, no Andy Gray, no Terry Curran, and no Adrian Heath, who's suspended. Manchester United have got Robson in place of Paul McGrath, with Alan Davis taking over from Arthur Graham, and with the Welsh match winner against England, Mark Hughes, in the number 10 shirt. And it seems certain to be one of the last games in the United shirt for Ray Wilkins. He's had talks in Manchester this weekend with AC Milan, the fee, one and a half million pounds. Ray has said he'll fly to Italy this week with a view to signing. All right, let's pick up the game in the first half. Some season this fellow's had, Neville Southall. Seven clean sheets in the last 12 games, plus that one for Wales on Wednesday. Sharp up well. Orbiston away. Stapleton off in chase. And he might get the better of Gary Stevens. A little cross coming in towards Mark Hughes. And not a lot to spare there for Everton. Just a little bit lacking on the far side in defence for Everton. And Stapleton got the better of Gary Stevens. His cross came in. Hughes was waiting. Southall was out, and a goal kick was given. Sharp, Steven. And uh, just wide from Andy King. But the flag was up in any case. challenging header here by King. Stapleton back. Oh. Something happened there off the ball and the ball had been played back to Duxbury. Bailey on Stapleton. And... Oh. The referee has given the free kick to Everton. So Stapleton must have been the guilty one. Bailey with the free kick. Arnfield, this queuing. Reed, a great drive, but it was a good 10 yards wide. That's free. Bailey. I think sure. And it's a deep cross there towards Trevor Stephen and Bailey gathering it well. And Robson now on the counter attack for Manchester United. Deep cross there, Southall versus Hughes. The two Welshmen collide. It's the goalkeeper who gets it. Well, that was clear cut enough, but some good work here at the other end a moment ago by young Rob Wackenshaw. Getting the better of Graham Hogg, hurling in across, which Stephen got at the other end of it, and uh, Bailey holding well. Norman Whiteside in the background, still warming up for Manchester United. Wilkins getting it away, Mountfield. there to gather and it falls for Richardson now for Bailey sharp and King place there and Wackenshaw well there was a terrible scramble at the far post but it's Wackenshaw who's gone roaring away towards the crowd. King there, and Wackenshaw, the number seven, the 18-year-old, playing his first game in the Football League, puts Everton into the lead. Terrible blow for Manchester United, but truly a day to remember for young Robbie Wackenshaw. Very interesting that Howard Kendall was saying he doesn't really deserve to play in the first division, he hasn't done enough in football yet. 
and he didn't mean that in any disparaging way, but I wonder what he thinks now. A real storybook afternoon at the moment then. And one that brings the smiles yet again this season to Goodison Park. Bailey. Richardson. Bailey again. Towards Sharp this time. Bailey's got to come for it. The fist didn't let him down again. United poised to bring on Norman Whiteside now. But at the moment, they have some defending to do as Reed takes it up again for Everton. And a shot on the turn by Andy King. A half chance which really had been supplied for him by the United defence. able to turn but was way off the target and John Pinkard the Everton physio sorting young Bobby Wackenshaw out maybe no more than a bit of cramp Wiggins <laughs> playing it in Robson shots a very good save indeed by Southall Keeper who's had really next to nothing to do, but his sharpness was there for all to see, and indeed so was Robson's. A little touch there, and a good shot, bouncing awkwardly. Robson. Stapleton on his way. Brilliant goal! Well, he could only sit and look. It was a marvellous piece of quick thinking by Frank Stapleton. Put through, yes, by Brian Robson. A quick look up, Southall's off his line. And although Southall got his hand to it, it's in the net, and it's 1-1. And United are back in the game and back in the race. Wilkins. Warren. Duxbury. Right side, nodding it on. Southall out. Robbie Wackenshaw, who scored the Everton goal, is going off. And the crowd are giving him a tremendous reception. First game and one he'll always remember. And now onto the field, a local lad, 18-year-old Ian Bishop, for his first game, recently been on loan with Crew Alexandra. Right side. Thank you, says Richardson. Bishop. Stevens pounding it forward. Warren's there for United and Duxbury. Reed. Harper. Stephen in space on this side, but he's spotted by Mountfield, and here he is. Wilkins doing the covering job. Supported by Alberston. And Stephen still got it across there. King with the shots. Wasn't a very good one. Now Hughes. Downfield. Harper. Richardson. King. Richardson again. Good combination here by Everton. Bishop couldn't keep it in play, and it'll be a throw. up here for an offside Bailey with the kick five minutes left now 1-1 one, one the score Bailey with the kick 
Moran getting above Sharp. Stapleton, Robson, Whiteside, Moses, uh, Wilkins to Arthur Orbiston. Whiteside again. Moran. Hughes trying to get on the end of this one. It's a corner given. Wilkins will take it. Hogg is in there again, and Moran too. Just Alberston and Duxbury are back. So, eight red shirts in that Everton penalty area as Wilkins takes another corner. Hogg tried to get the header in. Whiteside trying to force it home, but used his hand as he did so. And it's a goal kick. There was the handball, clearly seen. after he's got his whistle in his mouth with another glance. Two watches on his wrists. And that is the final whistle. Well, Robbie Wackenshaw made it a day he'll remember for as long as he lives, going off the bench there, the number seven, having put Everton into the lead with that shot from sort short range. And then... A marvellous piece of quick thinking by Frank Stapleton that made it 1-1. Final score then, Everton 1, Manchester United 1. So both Liverpool... In the second half, Alan Sunderland came on for Ipswich and pulled the game round for them. Acrobatic header beating a static defence.